Hi. Well, I've got a Ruger 44 Magnum carbine out here. It's one of the old ones. Semi-automatic. Got a few scratches here and there, but uh, in general, for its age, it's pretty good shape. It's got a little uh, M8 uh, four-power Leopold scope on it, which is a good scope. Had it out today doing a little shooting. Figured I ought to get a little of it on camera. Okay, I got her all loaded up and I got a steel target set up down range. See if we can hit it. Might help, but took safety off. <laughs> I knocked the steel target stand over. <laughs> well, we'll fire the last two at a, a paper target I got down there. Well, as you can see, it went and knocked my sawhorse that I had my target of hanging on <laughs> clear over. But uh, I believe these two here are the shots that hit it. The other two I fired at a target up here that I'd uh, been shooting 22s at earlier. So, right there's those. This old Ruger 44 carbine, uh, it's seen its share of use. Got some dings and dents and wear here and there, but uh, just in general for its age, not that bad a shape. Still shoots good. It's got a M8 uh, Leopold 4 power scope on it. And I don't think you can probably see all these markings here because of the scope. And it looks very similar to a uh, Ruger 1022. And in a lot of ways it is very similar. But it has a tubular magazine up through here that holds four rounds. Loads through the bottom like a like a shotgun does. The magazine holds four rounds plus you can have a round in the chamber besides. Shoots good, works good. Uh, it does have to have uh, reasonably powerful uh, 44 Magnum ammunition for it to cycle properly. But that's uh, to be expected on a gun like this. I just want to give you a good close-up of it before I start doing some serious cleaning on it here. And I want to do an end-of-video shout-out. And this one's for Fortune Cookie 45 Long Colt. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. You get a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.